டென் நைன் எயிட் செவன் சிக்ஸ் ஃபைவ் ஃபோர் த்ரீ டூ ஒன் ஜீரோ ப்ளஸ் ஃபைவ் செகண்ட்ஸ் லிஃப்ட் ஆஃப் நார்மல் பிஎன் ட்ராக்கிங் ஆட்டோ ட்ராக்கிங் to tracking a stage performance normal on a mystifying friday july 14th 2023 at exactly 2:35 p.m. ist the exciting adventure began from the satish dewan space center in andhra pradesh india's lunar endeavors continue with their daring third mission chandrayaan 3 before that chandrayaan 1 launched in october 2008 aimed to send a spacecraft to the moon without landing Then came Chandrayaan-2 on a quest to master a soft lunar landing with a lander. But fate had other plans as a mysterious software glitch hindered its success. Now what does the future hold for Chandrayaan-3? In a daring journey, it will traverse about 40 days to touch the moon's surface. The nation's dreams rest upon Chandrayaan-3. The journey began with Chandrayaan-1, India's inaugural moon mission, which aimed to send a spacecraft to orbit the moon but not land on it. On October 22, 2008, an Indian PSLV rocket launched Chandrayaan-1 into Earth's orbit. After a series of precise maneuvers, Chandrayaan-1 successfully entered the moon's orbit on November 8 of that year. Over the next 4 days, It fired its engines multiple times to achieve a circular orbit at a distance of 100 kilometers, 62 miles from the moon's surface. This allowed it to closely study the lunar terrain using its 11 instruments, including instruments provided by NASA and European space agencies. Despite losing communication with the orbiter on August 29, 2009, the mission achieved its key objectives, including the discovery of water on the moon. Chandrayaan-2, India's second mission to the moon, was a continuation of the Chandrayaan-1 mission which helped confirm the presence of water hydroxyl on the moon in 2009 launched from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sriharikota India aboard a geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle GSLV rocket on July 22 2019 Chandrayaan-2 successfully entered lunar orbit on August 19 however During the moon landing attempt on September 6th that is September 7th IST, ISRO officials lost contact with the Vikram moon lander when it was just 1.3 miles, 2.1 kilometers above the lunar surface. Despite the apparent crash landing of the lander, ISRO confirmed that all instruments on board the orbiter were still operational. On October 4th, ISRO released photos taken by the orbiter's high resolution camera on September 5th. capturing a crater called Bogoslavsky E located near the lunar south pole Chandrayaan 3 is the next step after Chandrayaan 2 aimed at showcasing complete capabilities for safe landing and rover exploration on the moon's surface Let's delve into this exciting mission Chandrayaan 3 is India's third moon mission led by ISRO with the objective of landing a lander and rover on the moon's surface for about 14 earth days or one lunar day The lightweight rover weighing 26 kilograms 57 pounds will travel to the moon inside the lander and carry scientific instruments to explore the lunar surface the chandrayaan 3 lander and rover share a similar design with those from chandrayaan 2 mission learning from the challenges faced during the vikram lander's mission isro has upgraded the lander software and conducted extensive tests to ensure chandrayaan 3's success unlike chandrayaan 2 this mission doesn't include an orbiter however The propulsion module carrying the lander has a science instrument that will study Earth as if it were an exoplanet, offering valuable data for future exoplanet research. Achieving a successful landing on the moon is an incredibly challenging feat for any space program. The moon's unforgiving terrain and low gravity environment pose significant obstacles to overcome. Throughout history, numerous attempts by various space agencies have encountered setbacks and failures in their pursuit of lunar landings. However, These challenges have not deterred the determination of scientists and engineers worldwide, who continue to strive for the successful exploration of Earth's celestial neighbor. Chandrayaan 3's mission represents India's resolute commitment to unraveling the mysteries of the moon and pushing the boundaries of space exploration. 
On the sunny afternoon at the Sriharikota launch station, the spectacular Chandrayaan-3 mission embarked on its journey on Friday, July 14, 2023. At precisely 2.35 p.m., the mighty 43.5-meter-tall LVM-3 rocket gracefully soared into the blue skies, captivating the gaze of thousands of admiring onlookers below. With a sense of majestic nonchalance, the mission commenced, carrying the hopes and dreams of an entire nation towards the enigmatic lunar destination. Approximately 16 minutes after liftoff, Chandrayaan-3 smoothly separated from the LVM-3 as intended and began its fuel-efficient voyage towards the moon, entering orbit around Earth. The ambitious mission was now well on its way to the lunar destination. In the following weeks, the spacecraft will execute a series of engine firings to extend its orbit before embarking on its journey towards the moon. A daring landing attempt is planned for August 23rd or 24, strategically timed to align with the sunrise at the landing site in the moon's south polar region. Let's explore on how Chandrayaan-3 will reach the lunar surface. The entire journey, from liftoff to touchdown, will span approximately 40 days, carefully navigating its way to place Chandrayaan-3 on the moon's captivating terrain. The mission set off with a launch using India's powerful LVM-3 rocket, a heavy lift vehicle capable of placing around 8 metric tons into low Earth orbit. For comparison, the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket can lift nearly 23 metric tons to low Earth orbit. The LVM-3 will position the spacecraft and its attached propulsion module into an elongated Earth orbit, reaching a high point of approximately 36,500 kilometers, 22,700 miles, above the planet. The propulsion module will then raise its orbit multiple times before transitioning into lunar orbit. Upon reaching the Moon, the propulsion module will gradually lower Chandrayaan-3 until it achieves a circular orbit at a distance of 100 kilometers, 62 miles, above the lunar surface. After this, the two vehicles will part ways, allowing the lander to descend and safely touch down in the moon's south polar region. At the moment of contact, the lander's vertical speed should be less than 2 meters per second, while its horizontal speed will be around 0.5 meters per second equivalent to 6.5 and 1.6 feet per second, respectively. Once Chandrayaan-3 successfully lands on the lunar surface, it will achieve a remarkable feat for ISRO. India will join an elite club of nations, standing with the United States, Russia and China that have accomplished spacecraft landing on other celestial bodies. Beyond this significant milestone, Chandrayaan-3 aims to showcase advanced technologies and conduct valuable scientific experiments. Once Chandrayaan-3 lands on the lunar surface, a side panel of the lander will open, revealing a ramp for the rover to descend. The rover will then drive down the ramp and embark on its exciting journey of exploring the lunar environment. The rover's exploration will provide valuable data on the moon's geology, while in situ experiments will deepen our understanding of its composition and history. After landing, the solar-powered lander and rover will have approximately two weeks to study and analyze their lunar surroundings. Communication between the rover and Earth will be facilitated through the lander, and in case of any communication issues, the Chandrayaan-2 orbiter can act as a backup communication relay, as per ISRO's plan. Chandrayaan-3 is part of the global excitement surrounding lunar exploration, especially at the Moon's South Pole. Many countries, including the US, China, and others, have ambitious plans for missions to this region due to its valuable water ice and potential resources for future human presence. With a budget of $73 million, 6 billion rupees, this ambitious homegrown mission showcases India's commitment to cost-effective space exploration. As countries compete to establish a lasting presence on the moon, Chandrayaan-3's success could significantly boost India's growing space aspirations. In preparation for future lunar missions, ISRO has set up a simulated lunar soil facility under the Chandrayaan program, facilitating hardware testing. Additionally, India's upcoming moon mission, planned for launch before the end of the decade, involves a collaboration with Japan to conduct the Lunar Polar Exploration LUPEX mission. This joint effort aims to study water ice deposits at the moon's south pole using the LUPEX rover. India's remarkable space ambitions reach far beyond the Moon and Mars. 
While Chandrayaan missions have been instrumental in lunar exploration, ISRO's vision extends even further. The space agency has set its sights on the alluring planet Venus, proposing an orbiter mission to unlock the secrets of this mysterious celestial body. This pursuit of knowledge and discovery demonstrates India's unwavering commitment to exploring the cosmos and contributing to our understanding of the universe. As we conclude this video, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Please show your support by giving this video a like, leaving a comment, and sharing it with others.